So it's um, September uh, 2020 and uh, at the university we are thinking quite hard um, about how we convert uh, a lot of our face-to-face -face teaching to online. So um, in previous years uh, when I've lectured on uh, pH and uh, log P and log D principles, um, we, we uh, cover, even on the master's programme, we cover um, physical chemistry, um, what we would consider to be the fundamentals of uh, physical chemistry, because they uh, really underpin uh, the pharmaceutics that we do. So uh, I've got a spreadsheet um, and it contains, you know, uh, about a thousand cells and you can change the colours in the cells or I change the colours in the cells on screen, um, depending on what um, the settings for pH and uh, pKa would be. It's always a little bit on the clunky side and I was never entirely happy with it. Um, but the fact that uh, we're going to be, um, uh, we're moving uh, a lot of our learning to distance learning, I thought I would have a go at scratch um, and see if I could do the same thing. Um, and so um, I've uh, coded up um, something on Scratch that will uh, take a look at acids and bases and we'll look at that first uh, and then I moved on to log P principles and then at the end I uh, moved on to log D so um, I'll be using all three um, in my teaching and uh, encouraging my students uh, to do so so um, I just want to run through the three of them so um, this is the, um, the acid and base one the first one so we've got uh, different controls um, uh, up at the top, uh, we've got um, a slider bar that will control uh, pH, and we've got a slider bar that will control pKa. So what this is, this is an um, acid, which is diffusing around the solution here, um, and the acid has a pKa of five, and the pH of the solution is 6.07. Um, and you can see here that as I, um, uh, perhaps I'll make the pH a little bit stronger, and it um, goes almost completely to the negative ion, uh, which is here, which is in red, and that's um, indicated down the bottom where I've got uh, negative, neutral is green, and positive is blue. So um, if I drop the pH again, um, as you would expect, um, then uh, the acid, the proton goes um, back onto the carboxylic acid uh, at a low pH, and uh, the majority of the acid uh, which is circulated around is in um, the neutral rather than in being in uh, positive, um, sorry, rather than being in the negative um, uh, form. And also at the bottom, uh, you've got the percentages as well. Actually, no percentages, there are actually factors um, which um, give you the um, um, give you uh, the different uh, uh, proportional values of uh, the negative ions, the neutral molecules, and the positive ions as well. So um, what you can do with this um, is I will actually uh, increase that pH just a little bit, just to get a little bit more um, green and um, red dots in there. So um, if I click on this, uh, um, this is a, a toggle, and if I click on that, I can convert it to structures. Um, so the students um, have an opportunity to see what the green structure represents, the neutral protonated carboxylic acid, and what the red structure represents, um, which is um, the negative uh, carboxylate. Um, so let me go back to dots here. Um, and then uh, I can do uh, exactly the same. So if I uh, click on the um, acids button here, that is also a toggle and it'll convert it over to bases. So here uh, we can see, um, the students can see that if I drop the pH here, um, then the majority of the base is in uh, the positive ion form. And if I increase pH, take it past the pKa, um, it loses its proton, the base loses its proton, and it moves into the neutral form. Um, and what I was really hoping to try and do was to give students the opportunity, actually I'm just going to go to the dots toggle there so that they can see the structures. Um, and then if I take that pH down or closer to the pKa, you can see that um, some of the blue uh, protonated structures are there now diffusing around. And what I really wanted uh, to be able to do was, let me go back to the dots, sorry, um, is I really wanted students to have the experience of what the difference between the, the um, acids and uh, the bases would be, because this is a principle that we 
try quite hard to get across. So here for a base above the pKa or slightly above the pKa, you can see that the majority of the molecules are neutral. Um, and then when we um, swap over to the acid under the same pKa and pH conditions, you can see that the majority of uh, the uh, molecules are now negative. <clears throat> and so this impact on um, the different ionization states um, of um, acid and bases is actually really important um, in terms of how um, molecules behave in solution and also how quickly and readily model molecules can get into the bloodstream um, through uh, the gastrointestinal tract. Okay, so uh, the one that I did after that, this is a, um, a log P simulation, um, which is just basically um, how um, molecules uh, partition, um, uh, neutral molecules will partition between oil and water. Um, and uh, I'm just actually gonna take that down to zero so that um, we end up with a, um, a, uh, an equal split between molecules and water there, and you can see you've got an oil and water count. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a log P to two. There's actually a limit um, on, on the log P for two here, um, and you can see that the oil count is beginning to go up. I've got something, looks as if it's pausing a little bit at the bottom there. Um, could just be the computer. Um, this simulation is actually built so that the fewer molecules you get in one of the layers, the, the more likely it is that the molecules will be closer uh, to the boundary, so it's not complete diffusion. Um, but um, so that would be um, um, a um, hydrophobic compound at pH 2, and if I want to make it a hydrophilic compound and take it to minus 2, you can see that the molecules will start to diffuse out of the oil layer and back into the water layer as well. Um, and uh, I'll just let that go just for a little while so that you can see that it does actually move all the way through. Just give it a little longer. Um, so what you will begin to see now is as you get fewer and fewer molecules in the oil layer, the diffusion, um, it's, it's more likely uh, to diffuse closer to the boundary, okay? Stop that, uh, and then I combined it. The, I com I I combined the two to form a log D simulator, and this is the log D simulator. Um, there are um, more options here. Get this to work. Um, so you've got log P, and you've got pH, and you've got pKa, and you've got the ability to swap between an acid and a base. So um, here, what I want to do is I'm just going to try and set the log P to zero, and so it should be. Um, an equal diffusion. So this is an acid. Um, my pH is at one and my pKa is at seven. I mean, I'll take that pK down just a little bit, something a little bit more realistic for a carboxylic acid. Um, um, so um, you've got a slider for the log P of, of the neutral species, a slider for the pH, and a slider for the pKa as well. Um, I've got counts here for uh, the number of acids, uh, number of um, um, acid molecules, the number of neutral aqueous molecules and the number of neutral oil molecules as well. Um, for the number of base aqueous molecules, I've had to put a small value in there. Um, I'm sure I could have coded it out if I really wanted to, um, but I had to put a value in there because otherwise what was happening was um, uh, I ended up with um, some of the equations would, which would be uh, divided by zero. Um, and, and the interface just went all clunky after that. Um, so um, what I can see here is, let me actually take the pH to something closer to the pKa, um, and you'll see, oh, it's, it's, it's not quite, it's some parts of it are slightly clunky. I can see I've got a little uh, escapee here, which is uh, quite unusual, which is not great. Um, but uh, I've got another escapee there as well. Let me see if I can just take the pH up a bit um, and we should get an opportunity to diffuse. Now those uh, two that are at the top, so you can see that they are coming out. So um, what I'm gonna try and do now is, um, this again is the acid and base tag. So I'm um, click the the base tag and um, it's actually set up in such a way that when I convert from the acid to base 
everything goes over to being neutral. Um, so if I now, uh, actually what I'll do while it's neutral is actually just put log P up to two, and hopefully you should be able to see more molecules uh, beginning to diffuse into the top um, oil layer or the top octanol layer, whatever you're using. And so we can see that. Uh, it might take a little time because there are actually more, more molecules here. So you can see it's gradually diffusing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is now bring that down to something where the base starts to get charged. Um, and you'll hopefully begin to see, actually what I'm gonna do, that's probably not too helpful because the log P is a bit high. Let me move the log P down to something a little bit more sensible. Uh, so you'll now see some of the neutral species, um, neutral molecules coming out of the oil layer and into the, 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 uh, the water layer. Um, so um, one of the things that students can do with this is um, they can um, use uh, use perhaps their mathematical equations for log D um, to work out for a particular log P value and for a particular pH and for a particular pKa um, what the um, uh, what the uh, what they would work out the log D value to be and then they can use this function here which is the actual log D value um, and they can do their experiment um, online here um, and see uh, whether uh, the value that they get from this simulation actually matches their mathematics. Um, I hope people find that useful, uh, I hope my students find it useful um, whether whether you're a student in one of my classes or not, this is open source, it's um, online, it doesn't belong to the university. Um, um, but um, if you are a teacher and you are using it, uh, if you could leave me something in the notes, uh, that would be really useful because um, it gives me a little bit more um, evidence for kind of knowledge exchange and outreach and all that sort of stuff, uh, which um, although it, if this has been done outside my work, um, it's actually still uh, an important part of my role. So um, yeah. Hope, hope you find those fun.